Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope everyone is doing well. So before entering this video, you must have seen the topic that is DMIT. So I think you must be wondering what is DMIT exactly? So DMIT is a multiple intelligence test which is done to shape your child's future and of course will help you in shaping your career also. So one more question must be arising in your mind that how is it done and why is it done? So to know everything in detail, do watch my video till the end. अगर लता मंगेशकर के फादर ने उसको बोला होता कि तू फास्ट बॉलर बन जा या सचिन तेंदुलकर के फादर ने उसको बोला होता कि तू सिंगर बन जा तो सोच आज वो कहां होते What is your answer to this video If you take my opinion it is obviously a no and I don't think any parent want their child to suffer by taking the field he or she doesn't like So DMIT will tell you the answer for all these questions and help you to shape the career of your child and make his future bright. So without any further delay, let's get started with the video. I know many questions may be arising in your minds. I'll be answering all these questions one by one. So let's see the list of all topics which i will be covering in this video the first question which may arise in your mind is how can we decide or how can we get an idea of a person's inborn talent by taking the person's fingerprints the next can be what is the correct age to do this test one more question can arise in your mind is what all we will get to know in a dmit report and the last but not the least is this dmit report accurate now let's start answering all your queries the first question i will be answering is how can we come to know about the inborn talent of your child by taking the fingerprints as many of us must be knowing that fingerprints are formed in 16th to 21st week of pregnancy in a mother's womb and all the fingerprints are unique No one fingerprint matches with the other. Basically, it's a replica of your brain. So, by taking these fingerprints, we can get an idea by calculating the ridges on your fingerprints that what kind of a learner is your child and what are his inborn qualities. By finding out these qualities, we can come to know the development of the five lobes of your brain and also we can come to know the child's eight multiple intelligences. Let's move on to the second question now that what is the correct age to do this report? So basically, 4 years of age to 58 years of age is the perfect age to do this report. We have chosen this age group to do the report because before 4 years of age the child is not capable of giving the fingerprints and it becomes really difficult for us to capture them and 58 years of age is the limit because after 55 years of age the fingerprints of a person starts fading and it again becomes difficult for us to capture the fingerprints so basically from 4 to 15 years of age if you do this report it becomes really easy for the parent to know the inborn talent of a child and what type of a learner he is he or she is basically if your child is a visual learner or an auditory learner or a kinesthetic learner the parent can promote the child to study accordingly after 15 to 22 to 25 years of age it becomes easy if you do this report to choose the stream you want to perceive your career in and after 25 to 45 years of age it becomes easier to choose the career of your choice or if you want to switch your field from one field to other it becomes really easy if you do this report to do so 
and after 45 to 58 years of age if you want to do this report you come to know your basic personality your behavioral patterns etc so at all stages of life this dmit report will help you a lot now we will come to a third question and that is what all do we come to know from this dmit report we get to know about the percentile development of five lobes of your child's brain then what type of a learner your child is whether he or she is a visual learner that is he can grasp the things faster by looking at them or he or she is an auditory learner that is your child can grasp things by listening to them or is your child a kinesthetic learner that is he or she can grasp things by doing them practically also you get to know the intelligent quotient that is iq emotional quotient that is eq creative quotient that is cq and adversity quotient that is aq which are very important to know your child's overall personality also we can come to know the eight multiple intelligences of your child which can be a big help to know his fields of interest and ultimately will help in shaping your child's career nowadays the emotional quotient matters a lot as it decides how strong is your child emotionally and whether he is a multidisciplinary learner or a focused learner focused learners can do one thing at a time but if your child is a multidisciplinary learner can take up many tasks at a time which will help the parent to decide on to how much a child can be motivated to do the work at one given time the most important part you will come to know through this report is the atd angle that is how fast is your child's mind body coordination and how fast he can react to the stimulus lastly it's mentioned in the report based on various theories that which field will be better for your child as an career option now let's come to the last question of this video which is is dmit test accurate i would like to tell you that this is not palmistry but this is a scientific test and it is 99% accurate as we know humans are not computers so there can be a manual mistake while calculating the ridges of your fingerprints so it is said it's 99% accurate but otherwise we get to know the report which can be referred lifelong thank you for watching my video till the end if you like this video do hit the like button comment and share this video as much as possible and also subscribe my channel see you in the next video